me to have a, a like two second disconnect. <laughs> I like this song a lot, though. brings back so many memories. The view hasn't changed a bit. Even though Sis and Panna have grown so much bigger. Mew, there you are. Let's eat breakfast. Oh, sorry, Sis. I didn't even help. Don't worry. You've been gone for a while. It sure is nostalgic, isn't it? Yep, she got bigger, too. She used to be just a calf. You were missing for four to five years. She's all grown up now. She's strong and dependable too, right? I learned to do more syntheses, and I met more people too. I see. It seems like I'm the only one who was left behind. That's not true. Neo, you're gonna grow from now on. You'll meet lots of people and see lots of things. Your time starts now. Lots of people? That sounds exciting. Can I ask you one thing? I want you to introduce me to your friends. <laughs> of course! What? I have to stay home? Sorry, there's so much stuff I have to do. To make it up to you, I'll bring back a souvenir, okay? No! I want to be with you! I want to go too! But, I mean, I'll come back every now and then. So, okay? No! Hmm, this isn't good. But I guess staying here all alone would be lonely. Then, how about this? I can't do it all the time, but occasionally, when I'm not busy with work, I'll take you along too. How about that? If I said no, would that cause problems for you? <laughs> Maybe just a little. Then I'll make do with that. I don't want to make things harder for you. Neo. In exchange, you have to come home every day that you can. And introduce me to all your friends. Neo? Okay. It's a promise. I'm glad Neo understood. Now, I need to get back to my job for today. Neo can now join the party. Oh, nice smell is Okay, one sec. I gotta go to the bathroom.
Okay, we're back. I wonder if Aisha's at the workshop today. Okay, let's do our best as always. Sis, did you forget your lunch? Huh? I thought I put it in my bag. What? It's not there. Hello, you're more enthusiastic than usual. Oh, Ernie, welcome. Oh, Ernie, long time no see. So the two of you are both at this workshop today. I'm lucky to have caught you two today. There was some stuff to do, so we're here for today. Ernie, Ernie, where's my souvenir? Whoa, Neo, okay, okay, I brought it them with me as always. <laughs> you sure love sweets, Neo. Neo, you can't eat them all at once or you'll get cavities. What? I'll be fine, my teeth are sturdy. Goodness, cavities are a real problem, you need to be careful. It'll be too late to brush your teeth after you get a toothache. D don't treat me like a baby. <laughs> your workshop just isn't complete without Neo. Even if this is just a dream, it's making me happy. I hope this scene comes true in the future. Dream? Ernie? Yeah, because Neo is at the workshop. I'm sure that the real me is still sleeping and having a fun and happy dream. This all makes sense as long as I think of it like that. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ernie. I totally forgot. Oh, I'm right here. Um, Ernie, I came back. Sorry for making you worry while I was missing. Huh? So does that mean that this isn't a dream? It's real? Yeah, I made you worry so much um, that I totally forgot. Oh! Welcome home, Neo. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's happy to see you again, Ernie. N Neo, you haven't changed a bit since you've been gone, so I thought it was a dream. Uh, I'm sure you had a hard time with food and stuff. There's a reason for that, but it's a long story. Let's have some snacks while we tell you all about it. I'll prepare some tea, too. Okay. I have lots of things I need to tell you, too, about everything that's happened while you were gone. All right, we found that book. We learned how to make God's Miracle Drug, Mirage Mirror, and Medical Solution, Forbidden Capsule, and a Mustachious Wig. So one thing I do know about these games is that uh, they don't end until you reach the end of the time. So the end of the, the time limit that they provide you with. Um, so we're just gonna fast forward days. We're just going to make, we're going to fast forward days. Mirage mirror. This takes uh, multiple days to do, so we're going to make a batch. Oh, well, that doesn't change anything. It doesn't take like a significant amount more time than there's no... I think the fastest way for us to skip through time would be to just find something that takes a long time to craft. And just like craft a shit ton of them. Okay, so if we can make bottomless pots and steel iron balls, we can speed up the process by doing that. Let's make a bunch of these. And we're just gonna do this till we can do it really fast. And then we'll see what ending we get. Because usually that's what it is, is like they get, um, they give you a different ending based on like what stuff you accomplished and did not accomplish in your time. Um, but I, I, if I'm being honest, I just kinda am happy where we're at. So I just wanna get what we're looking for. Oh, I don't have any night fog bottles, shit. Well, there goes my plan. These take three days? We can make these easy, right? Is this okay? Shit. <laughs> We're just gonna waste yeah, days. It's done. <laughs> no! <laughs> 
shit. Why is this not letting me skip? This is her first time seeing our place. Damn, I was hoping it'd be as easy as like just... Because the other ones had like a bed you could sleep in to skip days. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hmm. What should I synthesize? And that's how I would cheese my way through things really fast. Is this a Sleep in the pot. <laughs> that's what we'll do. Honestly, the easiest thing might just be like bean crafting, grain powder, going through all of our greens. It's a fast way to skip 10 days. Now we're out of beans. Used up all of our beans, now what? Is this okay? We can just keep doing it with easy to craft items. Yeah, we won the years where the beans. <laughs> Which I found very funny. <laughs> I all I used them for was like to mass craft a past time. <laughs> When I was like shooting for like a specific date. <laughs> it's such a weird like <laughs> moment in the game. Like I thought it would just be a joke like oh she got a bunch of beans and then it's like no she actually got like a shit ton of beans. You figure out what to do with them. <laughs> We used them for for some crafting recipes too. <laughs> All year. Yeah, it wasn't just a year's worth of beans. It was a year's worth of beans for a family. <laughs> and it's like, oh no. Oh, you know what might pass time quickly to have a lot of crafts? Cheese. We have a lot of grain powder now. What's this song? The guitar is just going. Yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was really funny. It just caught me off guard that they actually gave me the beans. I didn't think they were gonna. Where's the cheese? Oh, it's under healing. I thought maybe like making something with the milk would take time. Turns out no. I thought cheese would take longer to make than this. No, I think there's something I need to do. I should do this later. Why am I vibrating? We are at the end of the thing. We're almost there. The world is ending, I guess. Yeah, dawn of the final day, 24 hours remain. Yay! It's done! 
Yay! What else can we make that we haven't made before? And I'm just going through all of our shit. <laughs> Let me end the day. <laughs> Doesn't want you to go too fast. No, I want to make that last thing, actually. I changed my mind. I want to make this. I want to make one. Let me make one. Let me make the one so I can see what ending I get. is like you can new game plus this and keep all your uh stuff and then you can go through it and like a lot i know like older atelier games like this trilogy and stuff are all about like the uh, time management um so like you can finish these games like super early and then just have like a bunch of free time after if you if you really know what you're doing oops that took longer than i thought i need to hurry home i'm sure this is worried but let's uh, let's get like the actual ending if i make her any more work, at least for what we did grounded. You get different endings based on what you do. All right, it's and I didn't feel done. like doing more. I was happy. Neo sure is taking a while. This is all like side content stuff, you know. Ah, sorry I'm late, sis. I'm home. Welcome back. What took you so long? I was worried. <laughs> sorry. I lost track of time while I was gathering the medicinal herbs. If we had like a bunch of time left, I would have done like a couple more streams just to do side Neo, content and stuff. But it was just like a couple reason, months, and I'm like, we'll it? just we'll just end it. Ah, uh, so you could tell. I kind of loitered around. I'm sorry. I know how you think. When the weather's this nice, even I'd want to loiter around a bit outside. Well, I'm wrapping things up here, so let's take our lunch break. Yay! I'm starving! I'm done! <laughs> what are you laughing about all of a sudden? Is there food on my face? No, no, it's nothing. Eating meals with you like this, reopening our workshop, and with all these jobs flowing in? Goodness, I can't keep up with all these orders! I don't have time to eat like this! was what I was thinking. Then it made me happy to realize that these are the kind of things I have to deal with now. Wait, then you're in no position to be happy. Sis, you accept too many jobs without a second thought. <laughs> I know, but all of them are so important. I can't say no. If I work hard enough through the night, I think it'll all turn out fine. Wow, sis. With all your new friends, you have so many clients now. If you don't start planning things out, it could get way out of hand real quick. Do you know what your next plan is? You've been pretty vague about it, so I'm a little worried. I have a rough idea. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I have lots of orders from Ernie piling up. <gasps> oh no! If you're late, you'll be making it harder for Ernie! I know. But he's always so forgiving about the deadlines, I end up being late. Ernie looks after us a lot, so he can't be late. You're right. Okay, after I eat, I'll get right back to work. Neo, will you help me? Of course. If we do it together, I think we'll finish by tomorrow morning. Let's do this. Yay! How got a twitchy ear. <laughs> Hello, Neo. How's work coming along? I came to pick up the medicine. Ernie, welcome. Sorry, but it's not 
not done yet. My sister's doing her best, but... <laughs> you don't have to apologize. I'm the one who placed a huge order. The orders keep coming in, so I couldn't help it. I feel bad about it, but I can't say no to people who only want medicine. I'll just wait here for a bit. Okay. Oh, then I'll bring you some tea. Wait, before that I need to... Sis! Hurry up! Ernie said that because he's nice, but you're already a week behind. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's still not done. Hmm. Maybe the order quantity was too big this time. It's fine. Ever since Neo's been back, we've been able to work together. Yep, I'm a tremendous help. <laughs> Ever since you came back, Neo, this place has been... It's very like, I'm confident that I'm the most helpful person. <laughs> Making it lively is part of my job. And I feel bad since you're still not done with this order, but I got an additional order. Do you think it's doable? Of course, I understand that you might have other plans, so you don't need to agree by any means. There's still enough time to include it with my next order. What do you want to do? More medicine? I have plans to go out with my friend after today's job. What should I do? Of course they'll do it. An apothecary's job is to make medicine. <laughs> she put a lot of thought into that. <laughs> if you don't save Neo, right? Thanks. I really wanted to but save her, sure? though. I was like, it I don't like want to miss it. Already. No, I I'm happy with a very neutral I ending. I just didn't want the bad ending. <laughs> okay, got it. Thank you, Aisha. The ending of a journey. Aisha, who safely rescued Neo, reopened the shop as the two sisters' business. Atelier Aisha garnered a great reputation in the region, and that reputation garnered more popularity. Atelier Aisha became indispensable for the people who lived in the region. The two enjoyed a busy yet worthwhile life as they continued to support the people's well-being. Yeah! Yeah, we got a pretty neutral ending. It's a good ending, though. We, we achieved what we set out to do. And I think a pretty neutral ending fits for a game that's pretty... pretty mellowed out in what's going on, like this one. These are some cool-ass credits, what the hell? Yeah, there's a bunch of different endings, um, depending on like all the things you get accomplished. We need to get the good end. I have no idea. <laughs> Probably a lot more than we did. I feel like we got done with the bare minimum. <laughs> These games are like I know I know older Italia games are all about like going back in a second time and a third time and like getting better and better and knowing what to do and being a bit more optimized in your time management. Um, well, the newer ones are a lot more like. Because there's no time limit, they're just just do all the shit. There's just so much shit to dive into. Um, which is fine. I like both. It's nice to have that difference. Uh, it mixes it up. Um, but yeah, from from now on, we're probably going to be dealing with a lot more time time management stuff and a lot more focus on like moving the story along than like going straight into crafting hell. Which is fine. I like the stories of these games a lot. I think they're very good. Um, like, I love the- I think narratively, and just like character, and the vibe of this game, I think this is probably my favorite, it's just... My favorite will probably stick with Sophie, just like, overall, because just... I love just sitting down and just crafting for hours. Um, but because of time management, you can't really do that with some of these older games. Uh, but they're still very good, and I still very much enjoy sitting down for alchemy time. So it's not that big of a problem. But this is one of my favorites by far by this point. Like, I already super love this game. It's real strange, that game. Yeah, it just it lets you. Because um, the ones that don't have time limits are Sophie, Lydia and Suelle, um, Sophie 2, and then the Rise of Trilogy. 
So it's like, it's more of what the modern games do. Um, but that's fine. Yeah, uh, it makes you feel like an alchemist, exactly. And that's, that's, I do love that about these games. I mean, these ones still do, but, you know, not being able to just sit down and just fuck around in the alchemy for hours on end. I, I do miss that. Um, but I also actually enjoy the time management in these games, in like these older ones. Uh, I say older ones, we've played three games with time management at this point. We've played this one, uh, Atelier Fierce, and uh, the remake of the first game are all heavily time management, but I still don't mind doing that with these. Um, I, still, I still find that process to be fun. A lot of planning. It's definitely a different type kind of experience. Which I'm all for. That's how you make a franchise that's like 26 games long at this point. I think it's like 26 games. That's how you keep it fresh, is you just you change these things, you tweak this stuff. Um, I mean like, I'm, this is my ninth Atelier game. It's the eighth one we've played on stream. No, seventh one that we've played on stream. Um, I started Rise on stream and I didn't finish it on stream. Rise of one. So like, you know, it keeps it fresh and despite the fact that we played that many, I'm still, I still find each experience to feel, you know, exciting and engrossing and I'm not burned out at all of this franchise uh, because they do mix it up quite a bit. And it's stuff like that that really does it. I love this game. Um. This is up there with Sophie. Um, if only I was allowed to just craft for as long as I wanted. That's my only complaint. Everything else I adore about this game. I like these characters. I like this. This game's vibe is immaculate. Like, not immaculate. Is that the word I'm looking for? Perfect. I love this game's vibe. It's, it's not so cutesy that it's annoying most of the time. It is like a couple times, but like... I just, I like its tone a lot. Um, its music is, like, the best we've had yet. Um, and I really enjoy... I don't know, I just, I really enjoyed this game. This is, this is one of my favorites. It is either my favorite or my second favorite. Um, but Sophie, I've been thinking about it a lot. This game's really damn good. Yeah! The music in this game is incredible! <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was uh, Atelier Aisha, the DX edition on Steam, anyways. Um, you can, you can do New Game Plus. There is a New Game Plus where you jump back in. That is a thing. So like, for example, certain game will begin with a new with the items uh, you had equipped and the money you had from the clear data. Skip the part and then you can skip the opening. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not doing that, but I just wanted to show, like, yeah, and then it goes into a new game plus loop, so you can play through it again, but with your equipment and some money to start with. Um, and you can do it faster, and because you know what to do, like, a lot of the, pus like, problem solving, you know, and you know where certain things are, you know exactly what to do. A second playthrough, you'd be able to get so much more done, so much earlier. Um, but yeah, that's Atelier Aisha, the Alchemist of Dusk, uh... Let's find someone to raid. That is, that is a new favorite of mine. I this game's really good. Who's going though? Who is going? I need to eat and I need to take a shower and it's so late. Um, there's a lot of people I want to raid. <laughs> 